also very interesting. Mm -hmm. Nothing is what it seems. That's how the whole entire opiate system always is. What's happening? My laboratory's focus is on neuromodulatory circuits and signaling and effective behavior. And we've been using uh, the Invista system to characterize uh, different uh, neuromodulatory circuits, monoamine circuits, neuropeptide circuits, and their role in uh, different types of affective behavior. The biggest thing about lab science, I think, nowadays is there's a lot of turnover in the lab. So people publish their paper and then they move on. And so some of that information doesn't get transferred from person to person. We've been working with Shauna Resendez from Inscopix. And for the last, I guess, about a year or so, she's been coming to the lab uh, working with uh, several people in my lab, students and postdocs, really, uh, you know, has accelerated the progress that we've made, particularly with some of the deep uh, brain imaging that we've been doing. I've worked with Shauna Resendez, um, and it's been great. Uh, I think the best way to describe our interactions is it sort of feels like cheating, like when you're trying to troubleshoot something, like you have to, is this going to work? Is this going to work? Is this going to work? And Shauna is just like, that's not going to work this will work better. And so you sort of skip a lot of lag time. Uh, I can just jump right in and actually start doing successful surgeries and start acquiring data faster. Um, and when you're trying to understand the complex uh, analysis part of all this neural activity, have, simply having the data is really the most important first step. Um, and so she has um, helped us get to that point quicker. I have worked with companies that send out engineers, but it is very clear that no other company that I've worked with um, ten will employ someone who actually has neuroscience experience. So actually being able to work with someone who has done research in awake behaving animals is very different uh, and provides a lot of information um, that an engineer just isn't familiar with in terms of actually running an experiment day to day. So they've all been great and very nice and they're willing to help troubleshoot, but the, it's not the same. And I can tell you that in the few visits that I've had with the field scientist within Scopix, I've had dramatically greater improvements uh, to my own research relative to those other companies. What really excites me about being a field scientific consultant is being a part of so many different types of neuroscience research, but also being on the ground floor of a lot of it. Um, a lot of times when I'm in a lab, we're seeing a neuron population for the first time. It's the first time we've ever been able to visualize these cells, and that's always fun and exciting to see. Um, and a lot of times it's the first time we're able to visualize these cells during a complex behavioral task. So you have both aspects of the research that are allowing to understand a, the brain at a new level that we've never been able to do before. Um, and we get to do it every week. You know, every week we're in different labs, learning about different types of research and neuroscience and, you know, making the field go forward, but in a really broad way. And it's, it's really fun to be a part of it. Mm -hmm.